Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hi, my name is Coco. I do daily reactions each and every day. Thank you guys for being a part of the video. Thank you guys for clicking, and thank you guys for subscribing as well. Today, we got another video for you guys. We got Vitality. Vitality ZTV is back on YouTube. I don't know if it's been so long. I can't say his name right. It's been so super long that we haven't seen this guy do pranks or any, any type of content on YouTube. But we're about to see what's going on with him in this video. This guy brought us Vitality, Vitality, Vitality TV. He is back and it's not going well. So if you guys are brand new, go down, drop a like, and subscribe to the channel. But let's get on. So in September 2021, Vitaly would post two incredibly confident tweets on Twitter, stating that he was about to break the internet and that it would only be a few more weeks till all the haters were swallowed. This was assumably in reference to his long anticipated project to YouTube after having yeah, uploaded prints once in the last two years. However, when he was just three weeks ago, the videos didn't exactly break the internet in the way that he might have expected. Despite being one of the most infamous prank channels in YouTube history with over 10 million subscribers, the videos are only getting a touch over 100,000 views each. Two out of the three videos have been age restricted, hindering the performance further, and it's clear that many of the interactions within the videos are fake, which we'll look at closely later in the video. However, the reason behind the tally's underlying return is barely a result of the videos themselves. The main issue is that while on hiatus, Vitaly did a pretty decent job of completely and utterly destroying his record. It did influence their bank up and the whole. Egyptian jail for climbing up in the pyramid to take selfies. <laughs> Guys, and it says no respects. Dang. Vitaly used he does crazy things, man. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. But he he does crazy things. And he gets they say he gets no respect for that. Man, Vitaly is uh something else. Reputation. An exclusive video of Vitaly's infamous arrest was released oh, after he attacked a random jogger while inebriated in Miami. He admitted to faking some of his pranks which seemed to discredit the entire collection. Plus, it's probably hard to convince the audience that you're still passionate about making videos when you've got a piece of merch that literally says YouTube is for effing pussies in big bold font on the back. But there was a time when Vitaly was passionate about YouTube, a time when Vitaly was respected by the audience, a man with an incredible reputation, a dude who was willing to go above. There was no question as to whether or not Vitaly's content was authentic in the beginning. Back in 2011, he was nothing more than a 19 year old running around causing a ruckus with the goal of getting clips for his disturbing P series on his brand new channel, Vitaly ZDTV. He'd experiment with random comedic videos such as The Worst Stand Up Ever, but began to stride after his How to Pick Up Girls prank series started to gain the YouTube algorithm's attention. The advantage that Vitaly had back in the beginning was, ironically, he had no following and therefore no reason to fake any of his videos. He likely didn't have the money to hire a bunch of actors, so the content was as authentic as possible. It was just yeah, he used to make good content, you know what I'm saying? As he said, he stated, he used to make good content when he had, at a younger age, but he fell off. I, mean, I think he fell off hard and he hit right bottom hard. I'm running around being an idiot, and the audience loved it. This is the question's first major viral hit, the Miami Zombie Attack Prank, which gained over 6 million views in 3 days, transforming by Tal's life overnight. He got over 3,000 subscribers to 100,000 in the space of a month, which, in combination with his hilarious genuine pranks, began to cement him as a YouTube legend. His channel exploded yeah. over after his infamous gold digging prank gained 30 million views in a month, and in combination with streaking the World Cup final, yeah, the World Cup was amazing, got a million followers in 23 hours. Vitaly quickly became somewhat of a household name. However, as Vitaly got bigger and bigger on the YouTube platform, his incentive to fake pranks also grew larger and larger. It didn't help that at around the same point in time, this is, this is other like to 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 get... everybody used to break their pranks. You know, around the time, around the time pranks was a thing, you know what I'm saying? That was a big controversial topic about fake pranks. Just to get the views, and this was around that time, you know? It's time where, where it was getting big. The explosion left right sound. Is that Joey Salas standing in front of the same car with all these black coolies, the same black actors that destroyed the car, are standing with Joey right behind him? Did you see that video? 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 Did you see the base started somewhat out of the blue when Vitaly decided to call out a bunch of YouTube's fake pranksters, in which he would strangely admit that some of his own videos were being faked in the 
pops. I don't want to see anything by video. I need to take by video. And that's the whole thing. It's called setting up to make a better reaction. One of the individuals he called out in this video was Fuji2, who made a response video claiming that the tally was the very individual who taught him how to fake his pranks in the first place. In your video you made about me, you said, I do the fake pranks. You said, you were the one who said that, doesn't it? Bitch, you're the one who taught me how to do fake pranks in the first video I ever did was filming your fake pranks. But Charlie made a response to this, possibly admitting that he faked pranks. Uzi was going up over Tally. I forgot about that. I think we all forgot about Uzi going up over Tally like that. Hey, that's funny. He called him out like, hey, you know, you taught me to do fake pranks. You made this. I didn't just come up, come up in here and just do it on my own. Once again, yeah, everybody knows, knows that we fake pranks back in the day. Yes, yes I fake some of my videos. But I love fake pranks that fake my religion and my friendships. And surely there are the two ends of the drama that I'm arguing in the process, 110% confirming that at least some of the pranks have been faked. I already told you guys that I fake some of my friends. It's all new. The genie was well and truly out of the bottle and it wasn't going back in. With Tally being confident that prior to this beef, everyone knew that he'd faked some of his pranks. However, the truth was, not everyone did. There was still so much ambiguity around whether or not they were real. However, this beef between him and Fuzi confirmed for many what was previously just speculation, just Later by Vitaly, stating that he did it in order to get reactions that he was unable to achieve in a natural scenario. I called him out on all these fake videos, like all the pranks were fake, and I faked some of my videos, people already know that, but I didn't fake it because I'm a bitch, I faked it because I'm thirsty for the reaction that I want to get, but I can't get. However, it was kind of too late. No explanation was going to really know the interest of the audience after they discovered that some of the content was fake. Even if only one video had been faked, every piece of content from that point onwards is seen with different eyes, as the audience is watching the goal of discovering whether or not the individuals within the videos are actors, as opposed to watching the videos for the pranks themselves. Things only got worse from here on out. You ever wonder what actors and actresses do when they have to get shit really fast for a movie? Because that's the drama and negative attention that Vitaly had cultivated took him out of YouTube's good books, and when considering the nature of his controversial content, many of his videos began to get demonetized and age restricted. Every video demonetized, like my Friday the 13th prank, for 49 views got taken down. I uploaded a fun old one. Wow, Chainsaw Massacre, my masterpiece, with like 60 million. Got taken down. And and the as a result, right Tally began to call YouTube out for being soft. YouTube became so soft, you can't do nothing. nothing. Age restricted every video. And subsequently, his relationship with YouTube began to crumble. With every video he had been demonetized, the age restricted portion and deleted, Vitaly announced that he would be launching his own paid subscription website called Vitaly Uncensored. They're monetizing everything, and I always had Vitaly Uncensored in mind, so I was like, I pre-filmed probably the first season four years ago and I was just sitting on footage. The site was described as a wild pranks with no rules, on which members could pay no money to watch Vitaly pranks with topless girls. You hopped off YouTube, yeah? Like, almost. Like, what is Vitaly Uncensored? And while it was exciting that Vitaly had the opportunity to launch a new business, it would come with many extra costs. The site began to lose exclusivity after others began to be summed up by Vitaly in a tweet stating, So about a month ago, I came up with a subscription site, Vitaly Uncensored. A month later, all new info is coming out with yours. That's right, follow Daddy's footsteps, just like the pranks. Initially, the Tally's relationship with YouTube deteriorated even further following the release on the site. It's against the rules of YouTube to directly promote an adult or 18 plus website here on the platform. However, the Tally ignored their rules completely, posting uh, the website in the description of each and every video. This will result in a strike on the Tally's channel, and subsequently a refusal to send him his 10 million subscribe play button. First of all, you just imagine that. See, you break the rules, that's crazy. You would have got the 10 million subscriber play button, but YouTube is like, uh -uh, you can't get it because you know you want to do this, and that sucks. That it really just sucks. I'll be, I would be so mad, I wouldn't even do anything like that to be able to prevent that from happening. You should work my diamond black. <laughs> they want a reason, <laughs> so they I, won't. No, because I, 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 I promoted the Italian sensor before 10 million subscribers. I got a strike, I got a strike. strike. Listen to this, so I took off all the links. As soon as the strike expires the next day, they give me a strike for the same thing without me promoting it. So they like went back. Vitaly's endless problems with YouTube led him to change his main platform to Instagram, stating that YouTube had become a secondary place to which he would upload his Instagram leftovers. So I'm not going to do anymore. You're over it. I upload just videos. I have to go for Instagram now. 
and whatever I love to upload on YouTube. I don't care. With Instagram being his new main platform, Vitaly's YouTube uploads soon dramatically. And in January 2020, he would put himself in an Egyptian jail five days after climbing the Great Pyramid of Giza, then disappear for an extended period of time. However, although he wasn't uploading to YouTube, Vitaly was still getting up to a fair bit of mischief. And in 2020, an event would take place that would shock his fans to the core. On the evening of April 12, 2020, Vitaly would attack a random woman who was simply out for her nightly job. And when photos of the assault came out days later, people quickly came to terms with the severity of the attack. Vitaly stated that in the past he had never been under the influence in any of his YouTube videos. I never did in my life video under any influence of drugs or alcohol. However, when the police body cam footage was being uploaded to YouTube, all of this was about to change. Just came out and just whacked her in the face. Mm. Okay, this guy, this guy just wants to. You guys think he was under, under the influence of any type of drugs? I think he probably was. He was under something. He was on something to do that. Like, why would you just randomly attack somebody? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is how far it's gotten. Like, he been doing all this stuff. Like, this is how far it has gotten and it led up to this. Like, doing something like this. Like, it's crazy. Italian Center. He's After police tracked Vitaly down at his house, it was clear that he was incredibly inebriated. Put your hand on the car, man. No, put your hand on the car. Yeah. You're on the car, right? You're not on the car. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, you got to see. And after confirming that Vitaly was, in fact, the one who had caused the assault, he was taken to jail. Let me see. Put your hands here. Take it out, see? Don't put it in the front. You can't leave your mask on, though. Then, in June 2021, over a year later, a lawsuit by the jogger against the town settled in court for an undisclosed amount. This guy really hit rock bottom. Due to a tasteless prank to the being arrested multiple times for multiple reasons, to his entire career being destroyed, and has no one but himself to blame for it. Damn, dude was at the highest point in his life and had a hard fall. Makes me appreciate my life a bit more. I started learning the town in his early years. He later became so emotional. Eventually. I hope that job is okay. Comments such as these highlight the crazy and deterioration of the reputation and public image. The audience had already lost most of their respect for the talent, and this was certainly one of the final names in the cold. So, with a ruined public image, the audience has already had a tendency to make breaks and an obliterated relationship with YouTube. It's really no surprise that his recent return has been somewhat of a failure. He's promoted his return in a bad setting, the return of the GOAT 2.0, with some strange brand that seems completely disassociated with the talent or even pranking in general. To his credit, a lot of the interactions within the videos feel fairly authentic, however, it's very obvious that in the mix, Vitaly has also hired actors. The best example of this is in the second video titled Fake Cops Prank, in which this gentleman is for some reason walking all the way to the left on the sidewalk, right next to where the cops happen to be standing. He's pulled over by Vitaly and the other fake female cop, and instead of having a normal natural reaction when a police officer requests to speak to you, where you look terrified while thinking, oh crap, what on earth have I done, this guy walks straight up trying his hardest right. not to laugh while saying suck with unbroken eye contact, standing uncomfortably close to Vitaly and the female, you know, almost like he's familiar with them for some strange reason. He yeah. then appears to flirt with Vitaly. What's my name? My name is Baba. Before looking directly into the camera, again, almost like he somehow knew that the camera was there already. Come on, Vitaly, who are you trying to fool? And that question actually summarizes why Vitaly's return has been so unsuccessful, and simultaneously, the reason for the decline of Vitaly's popularity as a whole. He's lost the trust of the audience. Faking his pranks, attacking the jogger, falling out of YouTube, each feeling back a little bit more information about Vitaly's true yeah. colors. His true colors unfolded. His true colors unfolded, and it's a sad thing to see because he had rock bottom hard, and he was on the top of the mountain, and he fell off apparently because he was doing this thing with the pranks, you know, even though it was fake pranks. I don't know what made him, I don't know what led it, that led it down to that being, you know, the the hardest fall, but it happened. It happened. Uh, we would never know. We don't know if he was on drugs. Probably was. Anyway, some of you guys enjoyed. This video, let me know what you guys think of a tally. Will we ever make a comeback? Will we ever make a change? Let me know in the comments down below and also like and subscribe to this channel if you're new. Thank you guys for watching all that until the end of the video. Send me some more videos to react to because we're on the grind, 2022.
Let's get it. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.